Good morning. 3rd of July 2024. Believe it or not, today my daughter's birthday. Um, so it's another one of them days. Yeah. All birth all the girls are crammed, all my girls, oh unknown, crammed into uh about a couple of weeks. And the lads very wisely. He's he was born in January, so it's not so bad. Um so it's unknown. Let's have a look what the astrology says. We're going into the unknown. We certainly are. Um, tomorrow is our election day and uh, just like America there's been a lot of fiddling going on um, so we'll see today Mercury opposes Pluto opposite Venus trans Saturn this is an excellent day to initiate financial and personal discussions and if you're already close to making an arrangement uh, to make an agreement or commitment avoid power struggles the moon is in Gemini so it's about communication oh we've done them they won't die straight away So we may receive a communication today about an agreement. Um, so Pisces, second house of Taurus <coughs> on oh, Uranus, rebellion. So let me nails my daughter done. got took me to have my nails done. Look nice, don't they? Um, Song. The song is, I don't know what it's called. I am um, quite aware that I know it, but I don't know why I know it. It's um, I cried a tear. That's the first first words, I think. So somebody may have been crying. Um, and the other ones that pop out is You Needed Me. So I found it. Uh, it's not really my kind of song but it's um i do know it i don't know why i know it so let's go i'm coming again elaine it's absolutely Pittling it down here, <clears throat> so we're getting a break from the heat, which is good. So I hope you're okay. I doubt Kristen's watching because she's got a lot on her plate, bless her. But if she is, keep praying for her because we're waiting for Coco to come home. Um, not been an easy time for Chris lately. This past year's been rubbish for all of us, but for her it's been a bit worse than the rest. lost there because I was whip, prattling away so let's see where's that mama this is the mother's card it is the military card it is um agriculture mother earth mothers cry a lot of tears don't they We do need them. So no. 
Well, yeah. It's going to be the last pile, isn't it? Oh no, she's there. So, the truth is being exposed. We are taking that sword and wielding it. That sword will serve you or cut you, depending on whether you're in the right or the wrong. Um, this is the sword of truth. Also, for some of you, where life's not that serious, it could be sex. But for most of us this next week, the truth is coming out. And it will be exposed. It will cause arguments all around the globe. Because um, this is Mother Earth. It's um, nothing can grow in barren lands. We are not growing as a person, as a soul. So this needs to end. It's today's card though. It's neutral, so we're not going to go into it too much unless it comes up again. We're not sitting on the fence anymore. We're going to make a choice and stick to it. Hopefully the right choice. We are going to ask for help if we need it and not try juggling everything and doing it all by ourselves. The tower is about to fall. And this won't feel comfortable at all. But it will be a blessing in disguise. Uranus, rebellion, raising things to the ground. Arguments, accidents, losses within the home, electrical and water problems. Um, but a homecoming. Finally coming home to who you truly are. You may be a bit battered and worn, but you are welcome home. Somebody's there waiting for you. You're no longer banging your head against a brick wall. There's unconditional love. Scorpio energy. Um, reproductive organs and shared resources. Don't compare yourself to others. Comparison is not your friend. Life is not a race. This is the apple tree. And we're going to use that sword to pare away the branches Start serving us. Don't be ungrateful because spirit will take more from you. And don't feel unworthy because you're just as worthy as anyone else. I don't care and the spirit don't care what you've done in the past. What matters is what you do now. Do the right thing. You reap what you sow. Now is very important. What you do now will shape your future. Again, the truth. The warrior is coming to sever ties with what no longer serves us. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, child, possibly. Sarcasm. <clears throat> Sporty. But this is truth. This is a truthful communication. And the only card here that makes, gives us any clue at all, because we've got the unknown room, is a 16. And no matter what else comes out in the read, this is the most important card, because it's the only major arcana besides today's. 16. The tower will fall. We're bringing those walls down. Either we're being vulnerable or we're destroying something so that we can rebuild it in a better way. Rebellion. Uranus. All the wounded souls are coming home because they know there's... Nowhere a waste of the time where they are. Yeah. There is love leaving the building. Pisces energy that's in the dice 
somebody has been a victim or a martyr. Somebody has sacrificed themselves for the greater good. Um, there's no commitment and there's no love. The cup is drained. Pisces is 20th of February to the 20th of March, thereabouts. An empty cup. And we have another night. So unfinished business. Sagittarius energy. Acting in haste. Repenting at leisure. Sagittarius is uh, 21st of November to 21st of December. So, this is, when I tell you the star signs, it can be actual people. But the, why I've started putting the chart up for you, now I've figured out how to do a screenshot. Um, the current chart. You can see which house that sign is in. Pisces, Sagittarius. Or your own chart. You can see which house that's in. And, and find out what that house is about. And then you will see where this issue may be. So if it's not a person, it's an energy. Moving on. From stormy waters to calmer ones, not taking the baggage of the past with you. Like I said, leave the past behind. Travel across water possibly in the next six weeks. Some of you will be going on your summer holidays. Oh, a bond is broken. It's done. A separation that brings peace of mind. Finally, you can rest. Blocked, no communication, um, perhaps bad news or a gift or a message is not received, does not come. So now we have a Taurus, Vega, Capricorn, child or someone in uniform of a dark complexion, go energy, any or all of those. Um, but above all, it's um, no improvements in finance or um career this suggests that uh, someone's being lazy um, add that coin to this one it means there's no effort being put in because you want to sit on the fence and hope it all blows over well it's not going to I'm afraid you can't sit on the fence you have to make a choice if somebody's dwelling in the past either grieving or feeling sorry for themselves having a pity party that's not allowed either. Stop crying over spilt milk. Get over it. Build a bridge. Because that burden is too heavy. Far too heavy. So what's strange about this? Here we go again. There's no major arcanas. This is all an internal struggle going on. So the unknown comes into this because we've got no clues, we've got no major arcanas. So that 16 is still the most important card there is. Act in haste, repent at leisure. One night stands, uh, unfinished business. It's time to move on. Found peace of man, a bond is broken. There's no love. Somebody's been the victim of someone else. It's time to realise it. Yep, impatience. Your ships are coming in. Maybe you expected them to, but they're not. But the nightmare is over. Um, at least you know. And now you're set free. The door is wide open. You just have to step out. No more sleepless nights. Uh, nine weeks. Financial success uh, through a woman. Uh, Leo energy. So 21st of July, 21st of August. Uh, and a chapter over. 21. 
uh, the World Wide Web, the globe, uh, is birthing a new era. And we are birthing a new chapter in our lives. We are creating something new. Um, it could be actual baby for some. Born on the 21st, so it'll be a cusper. Um, it's travel to the object of your desire, be they persons, things or events. But you have to bring down those walls first. So that this is those that refuse to end this chapter. Those that walk around on eggshells for the rest of their lives. Uh, bickering, arguing, but never really saying or doing anything. They've lost the passion. They've lost the will. They've lost the courage. Legal matters. Libra energy. 8 or 26. Fantastic. Uh, possibly arguments on the courthouse steps. Uh, but there will be a just and fair decision. Uh, it's also the call on the prostate. It's Libra energy, which is 21st of September, 21st of October. Um, but again, it's about sitting on the fence. Don't sit on the fence like this person is. An apology is needed. Uh, healing. Chiron. Chiron is one of the... A bigger player than it than it seems. Um, it's those in uniform, those with a limp, the scar on the leg, the amputation. It's um, slow and steady wins the race. It's agriculture. It's arenas. It's concerts. And codependent situations. So somebody, maybe, if they do apologise, probably it's because they have to. Because there's no love in this situation. And they can't stand on their own two feet. So they don't actually mean it. They're just saying it because they've got nowhere else to go. So it's dependent on other people. Like your mum and dad or your partner what or your job you've you decided oh i'll have to stay as i am so that's sitting on the fence your choice that 16 can go either way you either walk about on eggshells for the rest of your life or you tell it how it is sever ties and move on because there we are moving on walk away there will be mountains to climb but nothing you can't deal with Forget me nots, lilies and daisies. So lily and daisy could be uh, could mean something name wise or flowers. Um but yeah, it's about walking away. So into the unknown. Uh, we've got Pisces there, which we've got in the dice. We've got the second house of Taurus. Uh, that's today's energy with the mother. She's not happy. And we've got rebellion, which is the tower. So, but the tower in the upright, bringing those walls down, arguments, conflicts, competition. So, Second house, neck and throat. What you value in this world, do you put greater value on finances or um, love? The neck and throat, the bank's green, the material world, your wealth, your worldly goods, your personal resources, your possessions, your security, your values, your self-worth. Are you selling yourself short? Material values and spending. And I would add to that integrity. So, Pisces, Uranus in Pisces. This placement indicates powerful intuition at the mercy of strong emotions, resulting in a confusion and misdirection. 
Visionary insights into the nature of consciousness overturn established knowledge in favour of a new perception in the nature of reality. So seeing things differently. Um, it's about turning your world upside down. And it won't be fun for a while. It will be worth it. Sagittarius, finally I see. 21. There we have it, the world, 21. Finally, there's no denying this anymore. They see very, very clearly. Sagittarius energy, there. Twenty-one. Key of the door. Six of one, success. Luck is not chance, it's toil. Fortune's expensive smile is earned. The name Emily and Dickinson could be important. You're just about ready to hit your mark. The half man, half horse, Chiron. Trained in the art of archery. He hits his target no matter how far he roams. Honesty, candid and not afraid to speak the truth. There it is. Where's that young man with the sword? He can be very cutting, but he's honest. Uh, since the freedom-loving fire sign is not offended by the truth, he is often surprised when others take offence to his words. Sagittarians are drawn to religious ideas, even though sometimes they deny it. They will go through periods of not being rebellious at all and claiming not to believe in anything. Even booking against authority, religion and philosophy are concepts that remain fascinated by the... They will argue for hours about religion. And usually, at some point in life, they return to some type of faith. But such a faith always remains an inte intellectual pursuit. The deterrent are high idealistic, creative, outdoorsy and have a great sense of play and fun. They are also extremely restless and would prefer not to stay in the same spot. Instead, they rather roam. Sagittarians dislike routine, so encumbered by the usual nine-to-five job. They may end up as magicians, fire-eaters, tattoo artists, entertainers, publishers, literary agents, clergy, tutors, bookstore owners, or whatever does not require a set schedule. Sagittarians tend to be rather lucky, I have a habit of not handling money well and will sometimes squander any wealth that comes to them. They are confident, which makes them highly attractive and popular, drawing to them what they need. Sagittarians also have integrity and will not go along with anything unfair or underhand. Wicca, paganism and Catholic Church are all ruled by Sagittarius. When you think about it, these religions with their pomp and ceremony Candles and incense have much in common. They're not as showy as their fellow fire signs. Leo, Sagittarius, tend to lie guests by their nature and prefer what they do to be memorable. The archer does not want an ordinary life. And this card turns up in a reading. Freedom at this current time is essential. You will feel the need to fight against restrictions of any kind and want everything out in the open. You want to know where you stand. Your question pertains to a relationship you or your partner need to be given extra space and looser reins. You may find yourself especially philosophical at this current time, even studying religions which may not have appealed to you before. Interestingly, Sagittarius is a sign representing large animals, especially horses and dogs. You may soon be acquiring a new pet or it may be that animals are already a big part of your life. Like these beautiful beasts, 
You love that sense of wildness and being in the open air. You may soon travel to areas of vast countryside or regions and mountains and lakes that you want to explore. You might embrace a new philosophy, enroll in classes of higher learning or begin a study of churches and religions. A visit to a casino or another area where gambling takes place could be likely come about. You will be fortunate and win. As long as you don't proceed recklessly, it's a good time to take a gamble. Your future looks promising because you're ready to expand and grow beyond your limits. If you do encounter difficulties, you will surmount them easily and move forward to your next lucky break in life, which will be coming very soon. So, ships uh, come in as soon as you walk away. Uh, time to end the chapter. Success is coming to those who are willing to bring that tower down. Although it is 30, which is the mother energy, she stands for 3 and 30. Um, the sacred waters, deep healing and an emotional pilgrimage. So you must travel to something or someone Travel to the object of your desire, be they persons, things or events. Glastonbury. Uh, the natural springs. The towers, the hills. The fairy kings reside in his halls. Wells were known to the Celts as gateways to the spirit world and therefore have become places of spiritual pilgrimages. The chalice well in Glastonbury is red, so iron, due to the iron oxide it carries. So you may be lacking in iron or too much. Uh, here you can visit the well, the beautiful gardens, which is said to be amazing healing and spiritual properties. Close to the chalice well down a laneway in an old Victorian well house can be found the white springs, so calcium. So you may have calcification of the heart, uh, the arteries, whatever it is. Uh, too much calcium. This was so named due to the white calcite stains the water left behind. Uh, Constantly blocked pipes or uh, arteries, like I said. Uh, now it is a site which plays host to pagan shrines, and visitors are welcome to bathe in the cold waters to collect water to say curb. Water has long been associated with emotions, flow, and movement, and we've got absolutely none in here. What we have got has gone there, Pisces. Because we've become someone's victim, or we've had to play the martyr. Uh, are you feeling emotional, or are you in need of letting your emotions go? Well, like I said, the first words are, I cried a tear, so yes. Either way, the sacred waters is asking you to seek out water for your healing, whether that means going to the beach, finding a creek, or even by a small water fountain to have in your space so that you can connect to the water elementals. Ask for their healing, ask for them to show you how to let go and become in the flow. Another aspect of this card needs to do with a pilgrimage of some sort. There is a place that you have yet to visit but not understood why. It has felt an impossibility to travel where you need to go. This pilgrimage does not necessarily mean you need to physically travel there. You may go in a dream. Uh, the limits are endless, you see. Our spirit is not confined to our body. We can send our consciousness to anywhere we would like to go. The more we practice, the easier it becomes. This card is asking you to step out of your comfort zone 
and take a journey to somewhere you haven't been to receive the deep healing that is necessary for you at this time. So chapter ends. A new beginning. Healing. There it is, the 16, you can't make it up. Fit. Can't tell you what to do. That's why it's unknown. Fit. Put something in your path. And the choices you make, your reactions to it, shape your destiny. It's up to you now. No one else to blame for your own decisions. 16. So that's 16. We've got it three times. Massively important. Known by many names, the three fates spin, me measure and cut the threads of your life. They determine how long your lifetime will be and what you will make of it. While we make our own choices from day to day and moment to moment, the larger tapestry of our destiny is in the hands of the wise ones who see it in its entirety. Aligning yourself with that destiny will lead you to great success. There are larger forces at work in this present situation and fighting against what seems inevitable is not constructive now. You will be guided towards your truest and highest purpose, which may not be revealed until a much later date. Go the flow. Destiny, karma, choices. You need to align with your true nature and your true destiny. Come home to who you truly are. If your life ended tomorrow, what would you regret? It's time to live with no regrets. If you have a choice to make, being sat on a fence with those two coins, chuck a coin up in the air and before it lands you know what your decision should be because you'll be hoping and praying it lands a certain way. So don't regret it, do it. But be prepared to face the consequences. There it is, Freya. Your base chakra, what did I say about sex earlier on? Uh, your passion. It's at the base of your spine. The burning passion within. Freya is the Norse goddess of fertility and love. Freya is the beautiful goddess who flies through the sky on a golden chariot, so Cancer, pulled by a magical cats, so Leo. She is the leader of the Valkyrie, who rides over battlefields, winged horses, Pegasus, to choose the souls of the noble warriors who have been killed in battle. She shares the souls with Odin, Wednesday, today, the Allfather, and takes them into her own halls, for they are cared for and loved forever in the afterlife. Freya is also the goddess of magic and is able to grant wishes to men and women seeking love. She connects us to our emotions and passions. Um, and there's no emotion and passion here. And creates in us the wondrous energy of being alive and in love. You are expecting a different depth of love. Be it with a partner, a friend or even your child. Whether the recipient is a newly discovered love or a love that you have nurtured for years, there is a shift in the atmosphere. Suddenly, feelings have changed and there is an intensity that brings forth a difference in the energy being created by the two of you. Do not fear these changes. They will only result in you both, both reaching amazing depths of understanding 
Even if you believe your relationship to be wonderful before, just wait and see what else there is waiting for you both. It's not only you who will be affected by these changes, but also people around you who will be wondering what on earth just happened or what illegal substance you are taking. Teach by example and allow people to insight into what is happening for you. They will be motivated by you and may even go and give it a go themselves. So it could be that you're freeing yourself or it could be that you're getting into something very powerful. But this chapter is over and whatever, now we're going into a new one. So, uh, very interesting. I'll get on with a song when I come back. Like I said, it's my daughter's birthday as well. So thanks for listening. Speak soon. Bye.